What's going on out there, YouTube? What's up, my Madden 25 fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on this video and welcome, welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, it's time for week seven. As you can see, we're going up against the Carolina Panthers, man. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Let's see if we can get another win at home, man. I know it's going to be tough. I know it's not going to be easy after this title update. This game is getting better and better and better. But let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Let's go and change our uniforms, guys. And uh, we're going to go all red. Let's go all red. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go all red, baby. Here we go. Again, if you are new to the channel, thank you for clicking on this video. And welcome to Hollywood Sports. Hit that subscribe button while you're here, guys, because we're going to have a fantastic year. Let's do it. Season. And well, that looks just like we'll Jaden Daniels, the man, all the way live. The only He's blemish on his stats is those 15 week. interceptions, and we cannot be throwing any more interceptions. Let's go. We are approximately five miles east of Washington, D.C. We got to get the crowd into the game. We need to get our home field advantage. We need to win the, posi the field position battle, and we need to win in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. Coming into play here today. They come in on a pretty good roll here, winners of three straight. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers. They were losers, we can take care of those things and not turn the football over. Win, we got a good shot. They're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes that actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. All right, we're kicking off. We're going on defense first. Let's do it, kickoff team. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL Let's do a kickoff team. Get down there, baby. I don't want them to get to the 30. They do not get to the 30. Let's go. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be let out by their second-year quarterback. And the numbers were not pretty. I mean, they don't look right. When you throw two interceptions, no touchdown passes, there's no way to really make that work. But I thought there were a lot of positives in watching his game tape. I think he's close to putting on a good performance. Let's see if he can flip those numbers around in this game. And, of course, rally his team to a win. Young wasting no time right to the air. We got to put those contains up. We got to put those contains up. You talk about this Washington defense. And this unit, very tough to throw against. Currently second best in the NFL. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is the number one overall passing team in the NFL. But it shouldn't be hard to get excited about playing against them. The ultimate test going against that unit. And that's why you and I got him on the run, baby. This game. Yes. Can get a good throw off right there. The passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope that they can come through on this play and get this series back on track. Just keep those contains up. For enough yardage for a first down. He's going to look over the middle. If it's not there, he's going to try to take off. Oh, come on, Davis. Find the open man. That's complete. Down to the 10. And he'll take this oh. into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Deontay Johnson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Panthers need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Did he press him? Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie, if he would have worked through his progression. Let me look at this play, guys. I got to see if he was pressing. Not really. He let him get to the outside with a clean release. And he ran into the rookie from Michigan. They ran into each other right there. Slowed him up. That's the game fault right there. That's the game all the way. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it. Well, that tells you right here, we're going to have a tough game. <clears throat> The vibes are not feeling good right now. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. 
So the Commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here, and it's the rookie Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, leading the way. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage. Our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not. Just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he put up a good fight, but he's going to be taken down. I hesitated on that play. Scrimmage. They went with the run pass option, and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options, but when they read their keys and play it correctly, sometimes the result goes in their favor. Throwing now is Daniels. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And Let's go, Terry. On the other side of midfield at the 45. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Brown goes in motion left. Now Daniels. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You look at this Carolina defense. And they've shown the ability to play tough against the pass, currently ranked number nine in the NFL. Take those rankings, throw them right out the window, <laughs> because this is what you prepare for, this is what you practice for, this is what you think about. The ultimate test, taking on the number one overall offense in the league. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. Daniels looking to throw. This will be caught once again by Brown. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 26. They give I do not like being behind, man. I hate it. A fresh set of downs. They get it moving back over. Here's Daniels. That's complete to his receiver, McCoy. And down inside the 15. You see that safety move back over when I audible. Good for a first down. When I put Zach Ertz on the street. Give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has. If he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Running on first down, Eckler. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. Boston Eckler with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Commanders respond to that opening drive touchdown with one Great of blocking own. on that play. Beautiful blocking That's on that play. Pinched everybody quarter. to the inside. What I like about it is how they put this drive together. I think we caught him on a blitz, though, because when you look at the uh, uh, the box, it was all red on both sides. Oh, yeah, that cover one middle linebacker blitz. See, yep, we caught him. We caught him on a blitz. Now Cade York for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. 
The Panthers offense and their quarterback coming out for their second wow. drive. And he's an early front runner for MVP in the NFL here in the first half of the season. As you can see, he's a league leader in passing yards at this stage of the game. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they are back down to 500 following the loss last week. Consistency has been a real issue for them so far. Brandon, you almost don't know what team is going to show up every week. I mean, there's no consistency with this ball club at all. And if we feel that way, I know it frustrates the coaching staff. And it also has to frustrate the key leaders in the locker room. They got to figure out how to get coordinated. He's going to throw the ball a lot in this game. He is not going to get sacked. I'll tell you what, CD, this Washington defense, very strong in the victory last week. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them, in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every Stand in the middle, wait on him. There we go. There we go. He's looking for down the middle. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand and forcing a three and out and giving the ball back to their offense. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. He blocked share right away. Back. I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But They're playing a lot of man coverage, man. Let's go. Excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. To throw is Daniels. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there. With playing so much man coverage, man. <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Partner, We're getting all kind of pressure, man. Game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first I knew that was going to happen after the update. In now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. That's pulled in at the 32. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And it will be the Panthers' ball first and ten. The Carolina offense about ready to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is like get hit. Again Let's right go. Here. They've got to get going. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three Let's go, Bobby Wagner. That'll bring up second down. From the 42-yard line. Don't keep calling the same place. In motion, the tight end. Young to throw it. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And he'll go again here with Hubbard. As long as that guy that contains up, he's not going to run. Seven yard line. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. So third down. A shade underneath. The for and, a put, and put uh, contains up. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Young will set to Stand in the middle. See? Up. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken Ain't down. nothing there. Jonathan Allen in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. 
On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. The Washington offense set to take over. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Two yards to go, second down. Burt has it left side. And he'll have this pass Come on, McCaffrey, get over there and block, man. Stop running like an old man. Catch four of it's good for a dozen and a first down. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. As Let me see if they leave De'Ami Brown ten. open right here on the edge. Nope, they're on him. They're on him. Here's a quick throw out wide. It's McLaurin. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So from the 37, here's second and four. Operating from the gun, Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And keep playing man coverage, keep playing man coverage. Field. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch. To hit him. Pick up Please really hit, nice him. hit him. Hit him. Hit him. They'll get their receiver involved here. It's Brown. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Former first rider Derek Brown living up to the billing on that stop. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. It's not going to work that way, is it? Nope. In motion goes the tight end. Second and 15. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Derek Brown, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards, and that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. There's no way we can do anything right now. Looking to throw. Daniels. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Third and long that time. I can't see my countdown clock. Happened, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him. And what I mean by that is what you said. Third and long. Got to push it downfield to try and pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation. And they took advantage of the young man right there. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. On first down, they'll start out with Hubbard. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive. I knew it was going to be a tough game, inches. man. I just knew it. First down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Here is Young. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnson. 
And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Back to back good plays. Have them all. Just got to hang in there. First down. Young. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Ooh, I'm glad he dropped that. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out and check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Throwing. Young. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. If you're going to run against this unit, especially down here, just beware. I mean, they're the top rushing defense in the league. Yeah, and then they go ahead and they double down with the whole thing because you think, okay, let's throw the ball. Oh, yeah, that's right. They defend the pass pretty well, too. Very difficult task right now. Hubbard again, pushing for the end zone, but he's not Good defense, guys. There. Good defense. They stop him just shy of the goal line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone. Watch Kyler Murray. Watch Kyler Murray on the outside. Game, so far, he's been denied. Hubbard is in. Touchdown, Carolina. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers and let's get this one in Pinheiro's extra point up and good and that makes the score 14 to 7 now after the touchdown here's Pinheiro to kick it off and a decent return out to the 27 yard line out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here so now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Now a second and ten. And McLaurin, the motion man right. Well, here's a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll look to throw it off play action. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Back to throw. Daniels. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The rookie from LSU leading this offense well. A good throw there leads to a first down. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation.
They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball They're going to the keep playing man time. coverage, man. Right they're going to keep playing man coverage. Down. They're going to take another look at this play. What? With all reviews coming from the replay official here in the he final two minutes of the half. Game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review the play. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll look to throw again. That one is slant to McLaurin. Come on, get in there. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A big play there on the catch and run, and it'll result in a fresh set of downs. A bit of a catch for him to remember. That's number 400 for his NFL career. Not a bad number at all. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Eckler. Get in the end zone. Come on. To the goal line, but not quite in. Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. Was bidding for a second. Second and goal from the one. Robinson is in. Touchdown, Washington. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You Great blocking up front. Beautiful blocking up front. Let's go. Coach right now. I want to run this one over the Got to give it to my man Robinson, baby. Let's done. go. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on, guys. We got to play some defense. The York on now for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was capped off by the touchdown run for Brian Robinson. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Panthers going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. Looking to throw, Young. Now set up the screen here for Hubbard. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. From the shotgun, it's Young. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, Bobby Wagner. Let's go. Bobby Wagner, that's why we brought you here, baby. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will he be... He got hit throwing it, baby. shouldn't have thrown that ball, but remember... Who hit him? Second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. There's Terry McLaurin, such an exciting pass catcher as this offense comes out for their next drive. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding deep. Well, guys, let's get in field goal range. With each and every one of them. A little jet sweep to start the drive. 
We did run Diami. Get out of bounds. There we go. Stop the clock. Inside the 35 before going out of bounds. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of gotta it. Got to get rid of it quick, man. We got to get out there quick on this one. To the air goes Daniels. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. They're going to go toss right side with Eckler. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Panther offense going to see the ball one more time in this first half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape as we look around the NFL here in week number seven. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey, where it was the Eagles. Wow, 38 to, to 10. Would have been nice if the Giants had to beat them. Victory with three touchdown passes. From there, we're off to check out another game. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Trey Tucker, a touchdown reception. Finally, let's get to Silicon Valley. Check on the 49ers. It's a good that game right there. At Levi Stadium. Ooh, and they one out of on top. Oh the man, the Chiefs are five and zero. Oh. Brock Purdy with three touchdown passes. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even. We got to play smart this second this half. half. We got to play some defense right for sure. Down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Both teams finishing up their final adjustments. We're ready for the second half. We're going to pound the ball on the inside. DC and give it back to Brandon Gunn. We're going to pound it on the inside. We're going to defend their short pass. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Commanders up first on offense as we begin this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all right, facets. Let's get in the red zone. Let's get in the red zone. So as we start the third quarter, let's get in the red zone. Curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. 
They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and see. Look at those this block sheds, man. Look at those block sheds. Met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. He's still having trouble moving the ball on the ground. Yeah, so much for halftime adjustment. Sometimes the best adjustment you make is no adjustment. You just do things better. But in this case, I think an adjustment was in order. They may have to change up and start throwing the ball around a little bit more. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Looking to throw. Daniels. Rush coming in. Wow. He's taken down. Wow. Shaq tops it, making his presence felt on the sack. Partner, the Mike line. They get me with the these same plays. So many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It's taken to the 26. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The Panthers offense and Deontay Johnson set to take over again. And he's been one of the main focal points of this unit throughout the season, no doubt. Currently ranked second in the NFL in terms of receptions by a wideout. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? So all he does is look over the middle. Right now. They seem to be a step ahead. He can't they? run. He's Beating gonna look to the run to the outside. Tap. Beating him to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering. He's either gonna run or throw to the middle. Gonna take to get Same back stuff. Track. Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. They'll Same stuff. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, offensively, that's a mismatch that you want. You want They're running the same place. Try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run. Like Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. go down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. Beautiful. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Ran right into it, baby. For a huge loss. Here's Johnny Hacker now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fair catch call no block man. whatsoever. Right near the 30-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on we the can't run the no football. Return. I don't know what to do, and guys. We cannot run the football. With a first and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here we go. Jack. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Second and 11. Over the middle here to Brown. So five yards here, five on the play. And now third down and six to go. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing now is Daniels. And that is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Oh, it's a wobbler here. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head we back. We can't get a break, man. We cannot get a break. The momentum is not in our favor right now. Punts on back-to-back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for 
is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage. Whenever they get close to field goal range, they start running it. Four on first, and that'll make it second down. Right back to Hubbard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. To throw. Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Oh, there we go. There we go. Davis. Jamin Davis with the pick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. A big play. We needed a big play. The league's number one defense coming through with a huge pick six. And it's plays like that one that made them the most feared group to face this year. Offenses, they're trying to figure out how to work around Great defense, Jamie. Great defense, baby. Big time impact playmakers scattered throughout the unit on every level. And they can change a game at a moment's notice. New York now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. We're not going to shade the middle this time because I think they're going to try to attack us on the outside. We're just going to put contains up on Bryce Young. Let's see if he still tries to throw it over the middle. See, they're attacking the outside. See, I told you. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively, and second down. We're just going to contain him. Let's see where he throws the football, then we'll make an adjustment. Short throw there, caught by Get off the block! Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds. Yeah, they're attacking the outside now on a quick pass. We're not going to press either. So often on these RPOs, we see the ball get from the quarterback to the yeah, good RPO right there. Second, but on this play, he he's gonna contain Bryce Young though. Let's see if he does a play action roll out to the outside. There he goes. Oh no, he gave it away that time. Continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Come on, guys, we at least gotta hold him to a field goal. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. On the counter, this is Hubbard. Hold him. Let's go. Four here down to the 35-yard line. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Third down, Young from the gun. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. The commander's defense holds, and that'll bring up fourth down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They give him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Well, this is up and good from Pinheiro, and that'll bring him back within four. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown. I wish we could run the football. We can't run the football. Be okay That's the that. problem. Let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. So here is Washington now to take Normally over. we can sustain drives with our run. Streak and right now looking good in this one as well. We get a blowout last week, now we're struggling this week. It depends on who you play, guys. It depends on who you play. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he'll be 
tackled at about the 35. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Well, they go play action. Daniels looking for McCoy. Ooh, that was close. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And now a give, but this is going to be a reverse. Oh, That's a read, one. man. They need to go back to the He's staying outside. He's going to be swallowed up right away. I don't know how to give it to McDaniels. I mean, Jaden Daniels. I'm pretty sure that's an option where Jaden Daniels can keep the ball. execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Well, this might be a cover one. This may be a cover one. Do we have time to throw it? Do we have time to throw it? He's coming from the outside. Now Daniels. He completes yes. this one to Terry McClellan. Yes. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 39. We have played three quarters. This is the National Ooh. Football League on EA Sports. I had to anticipate the throw, guys. I couldn't wait. It was my first look. It, looked, it was looking good, looking good. I let it go. Washington with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. So from Panther territory now, it's first and ten at the 39-yard line. Hey, hey, check that, check that. Beckler, they run left side and give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Eckler are going to get it again on second. Oh, wow. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before. It. Look at this. Look at look how quick they block shed on this play, guys. Look how quick they block shed on this play. Look, look, look. He got double teamed. He was double teamed. Look at this. He was double teamed. Look at it. Look, 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 look. Immediately. Immediately go and make the tackle. See, so I got I got to turn up the run block, guys. On my sliders, I got to turn up the run block. You see that? Now it's third down. We got to turn up the run block. The first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. I don't have a run uh, audible for this. Daniels from the gun on third down. He Get it. it to Eckler underneath. We're going for it. We're going for it. There. No. We're going for it. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. We're going for it. Quarterback sneak all the way. Daniel's going to try to sneak. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Credit there goes to those guys up front. Certainly does, but we're also seeing how quarterbacks are doing it nowadays on the sneak. When I played high school ball, my coach John Ford used to say, just get down behind those guys and pick up the first down. Now these guys might hesitate to count, use their vision in their eyes, and find the crease and yeah, cheat to the outside. Play. Look at him cheating to the outside. Now a toss running left. Eckler. Oh, we got away. Look at Eckler. 
Look at that dude. Let's go. Bring that ball, boy. First down, Washington. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're Let's coming go back from, to the other obviously. Side. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Stay away from the super superstar player. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine. No turbo, baby. No down. turbo. Second and right at a yard. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown. It's over. They've got to stay in tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. We're going right behind the left guard. It's Eckler again, and he will take it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Austin Eckler, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders are about to make it four straight. Beautiful blocking. Did y'all see that blocking? Quarter advantage. And that right there is a definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line. And here, they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Up by two scores, baby. Check that box. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. So now Young and the Panthers down by 11, 2.25 remaining. They have all three timeouts and the two-minute warning, but they need two scores. There's a short one caught by Uzama. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Decent start to the drive there. Of course, they need the All we want him to do is burn clock. Slow him up just to burn some clock. How about the guys on the sidelines? You see the coaches signaling, all the personnel groups up on the sideline, ready to go in and out of the game. They've got to condense their time now in order to try and get back into Good job, Davis. Good job, Davis. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Young working out of the gun. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The time becoming a factor, down two scores, though they have two timeouts and, of course, the two-minute warning to work with as well. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on I like how we're playing sports. soft right now. I don't so want nothing to get, get behind us. Nothing over the top. Got a we need to play a soft a zone a so we can burn trail. some clock. This is first and ten. Now Young. That's the rookie first round pick, Xavier Leggett. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25 yard line. Over the middle complete, it's Johnson. Here's second down. Here's Young. That one complete to Leggett. Please say it's holding. 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 Yes, you you holding, bro. You holding. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Now the question is obvious. Do you try to kick the field goal right here knowing that you need two scores? I would be thinking about if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. Young. There we go. Oh! 
Come on, Quan. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least it'll be fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. The kick by Pinheiro is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So the we got to get the onside kick. That helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Time definitely of the essence now, just under a minute to play, and here we go. And this will be recovered Good by job, Washington, Paul. and that should just about do it. The risk reward of the onside kick when you don't get it. They got the two timeouts left. To play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them and field position leads you to that type of play calling and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep those types of things now that they've given up that type of field position the advantage is switched to their opponent the Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Once more, here's Eckler. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to perhaps... Oh, we can let the clock run out. No, we can't. No, we can't. No, we can't. Let's go. Get across there. Let's go. York able to send this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late, and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. They'll come up first and 10 here. Young to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. Throwing, Young. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Able to get away. Flushed out right. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. We got to win, baby. We got to win. It was tough. We played better in the second half, though. The offense, the defense put some points on the board as well. They were solid. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. We got to win, baby. We got to win at home. It was tough. It was tough. That defense was plain. And then again, I heard the Carolina, Carolina uh, Panthers got a really good defense. moves them up to 5-2 and two now on the year. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Chicago Bears next week. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time on the next video. Thanks for watching.